Hello, and a very warm welcome back to the RDS Arena. Since the 28th of February 2020, these gates here behind me have remained shut to supporters. But this Friday, against the Dragons in the Guinness Pro 14 Rainbow Cup, the gates will once again open to 1,200 supporters as part of the test events being rolled out by the Irish government. It goes without saying that we can't wait to have you with us. We will have official members of Leinster Rugby, and we will also have 100 frontline staff from St. Vincent's University Hospital down the road here uh, in Dublin in recognition of their stellar efforts on all our behalfs over the last 15 months. But there are a few changes from what you would have seen the last time at the RDS. So before we get started and walk you through some of the more practical changes, here's a few things you need to do before you even arrive at the RDS Arena. It goes without saying, if you or your companion are feeling ill or displaying any COVID symptoms, such as a cough, high temperature, headache or shortness of breath, then do not enter the stadium and please stay at home. Paper tickets will not be in use, so please download your tickets to your mobile device in plenty of time. A key part of remaining COVID compliant on match day is that you download the COVID tracker app to your mobile device and we would advise you to use that before leaving your place of residence. After that, please use private transport if you can and we will have paid parking behind me here on the Simmons Court Road. If you are using public transport, please, as always, follow government guidelines. Since October last year, we have hosted any amount of Guinness Pro 14 and Heineken Champions Cup games here, and we have had no cases of COVID-19. We have worked extremely hard with the Department of Sport, with Eamon O'Boyle and Associates, with the RDS, with Ngarda Shikana, and all relevant stakeholders to make sure that this Friday's game against the Dragons is as safe and COVID compliant as possible. But you need to play your part too. You need to come early, you need to expect cues, and you also need to wear a mask when inside the grounds. This is one of our gates, gate E, which will be open for those seated in the Anglesey stand. And again, you must wear your mask at all times while inside these gates on Friday night. Once inside the RDS Arena, you're gonna see plenty of these barriers. We're also gonna have plenty of stewards helping into the stand and to the seat in question. And you're also gonna see plenty of these hand sanitization stations. Please use them often. There will be some queuing and social distancing of two meters will be in place. It must be maintained at all times. So where will you enter from? Well, there are four gates in operation and your gate will be marked on your ticket. For the Anglesey stand, please use gate E. For the North stand, please use gate F. For the Grand stand, please use gate G. And finally, for the South stand, please use gate J. Gate J will also cater for wheelchair users and their companions. Please allow yourself plenty of time to get to your gate after you arrive to the area and check the Leia Healthcare and Leinster Rugby signage to confirm you're at the correct entrance gate. Usually on match day, this area behind the Anglesey stand is chock-a-block with food and beverage stalls. Unfortunately, on Friday against the Dragons, there will be no such amenities available. Indeed, no alcohol will be permitted inside the grounds. There will be plenty of stewards available again once inside to help you to your seat, and we would advise you to stay seated unless you need to use the bathrooms. Again, please wear your masks, please wash your hands, and again, stay socially distanced from those around you. With thanks to our partners, Leia Healthcare, there will be plenty of signs dotted throughout the RDS Arena on Friday, reminding you of your COVID-19 protocols. Once in your stand, again, please refer to your mobile device. Your mobile device will have all the information in relation to the seat for you and your companion. What we would ask you to do is once inside, find your seat and take it. Once seated, please remain seated for the 80 minutes unless you need to use the bathroom. Please be mindful of those seated around you and wear the mask at all times. We will also have a PA in place and we will have two big screens, so please keep an eye on them for any important COVID-19 announcements and also in relation to access and egress from the stadium. And again, just enjoy the 80 minutes and being back in the RDS. Normally, if you were seated in the south stand or indeed the north stand, you would be able to sit anywhere, unreserved seating, but that will not be the case this Friday against the Dragons. Again, please refer to your mobile device, which will give you precise instructions as to your seat number. Once in the seat, please remain seated for the 80 minutes unless you need to use the bathroom. And again, please listen to the stewards and to the PA in relation to any COVID-19 announcements that might be made over the course of the 80 minutes or indeed after the game. 
After the game, our job, and indeed your job, isn't quite done yet. So again, please listen to the stewards and take instruction from the PA as you make your way towards the exit signs. This is a test event and we want to pass on as many lessons as possible to the government and state agencies so that this, having supporters at games, can become the norm again. Please continue to keep your masks on, use the hand sanitization stations and keep two metres away from those around you. So there you have it, a little bit of change in the RDS for Friday evening and the game against the Dragons. But what hasn't changed is that we just can't wait to see 1,200 of you here with us to cheer on the boys in blue at 8.15 against the Dragons. We're going to play our part together with the RDS and of course with help from the Department of Sport, but we critically need you to play your part as well. If you have any questions or queries, please email information at leinsterrugby.ie. But until Friday at 8.15, look after yourselves and we just can't wait to see you again.